Yeah, I don't think our team is arrogant at all. I think that our team is confident. Um, we're respectful of our opponents, and I think the way that we respect them is uh, by preparing for each game um, against as if the, the opponent that we're going to play is the best in the world. I, and I think that that on top of um, the level of intensity and preparation and effort that goes into each game is the best way that you respect who you're playing. Um, and I think that uh, confidence is beautiful and it's something that's a big part of the U.S. Women's National Team legacy. And it's actually um, an important part that we really hope that our performances are help spreading to other people in the world and that the next generation um, looks and sees that and feels that and carries that on. That's always a challenge. So obviously England's a great team. England is going to be, they're going to be fit. They're going to be, you know, amped up for this game as well. I mean, it's a World Cup semifinal. So there's, there's no time to, you know, be tired and you're going to, you're going to give it 100%. You're going to lay it out all in the field. Um, and we know that and we know it's going to take a full 90 minute effort um, and potentially 120 minutes. And, you know, we, we had a great matchup with them back in March, um, finishing in a draw. So we know, we know what we're getting into. We know that we need to be able to match their energy. We know we need to be able to, you know, bring what we can to the table as well and perform, perform to our best as well. Interesting. I think that there are obviously some similarities, but there are always similarities between teams. Um, and I think the big one that you pointed out was the, the speed and the physicality of the match. Um, but I do think that we have different systems, different tactics, different players, and and actually different strengths, um, especially in the way that we attack, in the way that we uh, combine to get into the goal. I think that's where I would see the biggest differences. Um, and I think that for our group, um, staying focused to how we have been historically successful and how we've been successful through this tournament is really important. And I have been completely in a bubble the whole tournament. Um, as I mentioned before, we don't really have the luxury to enjoy some of the fanfare around the tournament um, because especially just for me and the way I prepare and the way that um, I feel most confident about the way I can perform is to just be super focused on the game. Um, and I think that there will be a moment after the tournament where we, we look back and we see, you know, all the drama and what all the fans are reading and hearing. Um, but for me, it's important to be just in the present moment, experiencing what I'm experiencing um, and super focused on the task at hand. Yeah, I think that this World Cup has been fantastic. Um, it's been so much fun um, and we don't really get to see step back and, and look at it in that way quite so much when we're in it. Uh, but I do have that sense that it's bigger and it's better than the last tournament. And that's super important. And that's not just um, the facilities and the stadiums and the fans and the media, but it's also the quality of the teams that are competing. And I think that that's um, the other side of the game where all of us are on the same team and we're fighting to improve the global game on the women's side and we're doing that together. Um, and I think this, this World Cup is a celebration of that progress.